All right, how's everybody doing? We're going to do a fragrance review today, and it's going to be a repeat of one I've done about three months ago that I don't think I gave a very fair shake. Um, usually I record my shaving videos in the bathroom, but my cheap $15 tripod broke after I threw it at the wall. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't really throw it at the wall, but it broke, and I ordered me another one today, and uh, soon I should be able to resume the... Uh, uh, the fragrance reviews in my room where I normally do it. But the fragrance I want to talk about today is one that I did a quick review on. And when I woke up this morning, I was sitting there trying to decide what it was I wanted to wear. The weather was overcast today. It was in the mid sixties and it was kind of dreary outside and I couldn't, I, I couldn't decide what I wanted to wear. So what I chose was this. This is number 70 by a company called Pharmacy. Pharmacy is probably a company you've never heard of. Um, they are like the modern day equivalent of Avon is the best way I can, I can relate that. I forgot to bring a test strip in here. That's all right. I'll just spray some more of this on. But um, a friend of mine sent me this as a gift and she asked me to give it a try and I did. And she also sent me this it's a three-in-one body wash face wash and uh shampoo and it's just absolutely wonderful so today i decided to go ahead this is probably the fifth or sixth time i've wore it i probably wore it more than that but there's just something special about it today so let me uh let's take a look at the bottle um i think this is a hundred milliliter bottle or a 90 um it's $40. I mean, the cap's nothing special. It's just plastic. Um, the bottle looks okay. But you know what? I don't care about bottles. I care about the juice that's inside the bottle. So let's take a look at the atom atomizer. I can't say that at all. And let's see how she works. I'm just going to... It sprays out. I'm going to put some more on. I love this stuff. It sprays out a genuine, generous amount of of juice and I just think I got some in my mouth that doesn't taste delicious. So let's talk about the top note the notes of the, the note breakdown. Uh, we're looking at lemon. We are looking at um a grapefruit we're looking at green apple middle notes are coconut iris and cedar coconuts unique I haven't seen that around the bottom note is tonka bean ambergris and musk this fragrance smells good through all facets. It's not one of those ones for me to where I like the opening, but I don't like the middle or I like the, uh, you know, um, I don't like the opening, but the middle and the dry down all three phases of, the, of this as it begins to dry down just smells absolutely wonderful. This is a great scent for everyday wear it's not overbearing. It, it, this scent to me defines the characteristics of how a man should be. It should be assertive, but not overbearing. It should be confident, but not arrogant. And it should be strong, but never bullying. And this is exactly what this scent exemplifies. It lasts on me a good six hours. Where can you wear this stuff? You can wear it anywhere you wish. But for me, this would be a good office scent, a good daily wear. It would be fantastic for wearing someplace where you're going to be in close quarters. Like if you're going to a movie or something like that, or if you're, for me, a Bible study or something like that, where I'm in a close contact with people, because you don't want to be the guy that smells so good that nobody can stand you. That's not the guy you want to be. And this stuff helps with that. It's, it's extremely versatile, but I would say this is a good office or a close encounter scent. And like I said, the longevity on it is quite good. And one of the best things about buying stuff from pharmacy that I've seen so far is I get to help support a local business. 
The people at Versace, their dreams have already come true. The uh, Aqua de Gio, people like that, the, the companies that like that, they're already rich. And I love being able to help support a local business, help a local entrepreneur grow and keep that money in my local economy. And that's hard to do with fragrances. It's not something that you that happens every day. So I will put a link in the description below where you can get this from a friend of mine. If you decide to order, let them know where you heard it from if you get a chance to do that. So we can, you know, I, I want her to know where it came from. But this stuff is about $40 and it's worth every penny of it. It has all the hallmarks of a modern, airy and fruity and woody cologne for men. And it is a it is an uh, EDP strength, I believe. Um, Carrie, correct me about that in the comments if I'm wrong, if it's an EDP or it's an EDP, EDT. But it feels like an EDP to me because it's just full and rich and everything and what oh, the parfum is supposed to be. But it's excellent. I will put her link down in the description. Guys, give it a try. For 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. I spent $60 on something that, that I wouldn't wear to a worm wrestle. So give it a shot. I'll put a link. Give me your comments. Tell me what you think. Um, also, the channel is up to 263 subscribers. I wanted to thank everybody for subscribing. Um, I've got... Saturday Night Shave is coming up, and we're going to be talking about uh, Sterling Sheep. I've switched up how I'm going to do my soap buying and aftershave buying, and we're going to talk about that during the shave. So thank you to all the new subscribers. Man, please give this stuff a try. It is amazing. I love it, especially this. What's great about this is it doesn't dry your skin out. It's perfect for the wintertime. It actually leaves some moisture behind these are two fantastic products that you can buy and keep the money in the local economy. And I always try to do that whenever I possibly can. Once again, thank you to all the new subscribers. God bless you. Keep watching. I'm glad to have you aboard. Bye-bye.